I am going to put prime Cristiano Ronaldo back at Real Madrid. Prime Ronaldo was, of course, one of the best players in the world with Ballon d'Or after Ballon d'Or after Ballon d'Or. So what if we threw back the years and put top tier 2012 Ronaldo back at Real Madrid today? And here he is. We have made him 95 rated and have used the exact same stats as this man of the match from FIFA 12. And starting off the season, we are playing Athletic Bilbao. It's into Ronaldo. Can he turn his man? He can. Can he get a shot off? No. Nope. He can, but it's just wide. Ronaldo down the ring, pass it inside, gets it back. Still Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he score a worldie? He can. And it's an absolutely unreal goal for his first one of the season. He's gotten through yet again. Can he make anything of it? He can, but it's a great save from the keeper. And that is the game done. Coming in at 1-0 with a goal coming from Ronaldo. And finishing up his first month here at Real Madrid, it is three wins from three, which so far puts us joint top with Girona. And Ronaldo's first three games produces two goals. Whoa, 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 hold up. You haven't liked the video yet. You also haven't subscribed. So please make sure you do that or I will get Hasbro on the case. <laughs> It is Ronaldo's return to Atletico Madrid. Can he do bits? And it's Farlan Mendy running at the wing. Can Ronaldo get into position in the box? Oh no. He can't. Oh, but it's fumbled. And Ronaldo tucks it. And Ronaldo could be through here if he can just get past the defenders. He can. Oh, but it's a great save from Oblak. Oh, Ronaldo's played through here. Go on. Oh, that's another great save from Jan Oblak. And Rodrigo has been deployed nicely down this wing. Can he sweep into Ronaldo? He can, and it's in. Jan Oblak is not saving that one. And it ends here at 2-0. Both goals from Ronaldo. And end in September, we are still unbeaten in the league, which does put us into first place with 19 points. And Ronaldo, as you would expect, has absolutely obliterated the league. 10 goal contributions in eight games. And we do head into our first game against Barcelona. Oh, it's a great ball through from Bellingham. Chosselu to Ronaldo. And Ronaldo tucks it past the Stegen to make it 1-0 already. And it's Ronaldo on the ball. Can he use a bit of pace here to get past Kunde? He can. Can he tuck it past the Stegen? He can again. And that is two for Ronaldo in the first half. And it ends here with a brace for Ronaldo, making it 2-0 to Real Madrid. And the Ballon d'Or, surely Cristiano Ronaldo is going to win here. He's got no Lionel Messi in competition. Surely it's all his. And it is. Cristiano Ronaldo wins his sixth Ballon d'Or and finishing up October it is win after win for Real Madrid and Ronaldo which does give us a comfortable nine point lead in the league and Ronaldo is of course a huge part of that having 14 goals and seven assists from 14 games. Finish in November, it is still win after win in the league, which just expands the lead at the top to 15 points. And Ronaldo's had a little bit of a more quiet a month, just adding two goals to his tally. But we do have a massive game here against Union Berlin. Whoever wins goes through. Ronaldo needs to come through clutch. It's a corner swung in. Can Ronaldo get onto it? Oh, of course he does. It's a disgusting looping header into the back corner. Ronaldo on the ball. What can he do with it? going to be a little bit fancy. Can he do his man? He can. He gets a shot off and it's in. What an unreal goal from Ronaldo. Turner Cruz on the ball. Pass it to Bellingham. Bellingham. Can he find Ronaldo back post? He can for a hat-trick. What a ball from Bellingham setting up Ronaldo perfectly. Oh, Ronaldo could find his fourth and he can. That is it. It's wrapped up. It's a done deal. And it does end 5-0. Four goals coming from Ronaldo. He really come through clutch. The end of December still sees us in first place in the league. And Ronaldo has had an insane scoring month. Now with 23 goals in 24 games. Our first final is an El Clasico. Barcelona in the Supercopa. Ronaldo plays it through to Jossilu. Can Jossilu pass it back? He can't. He goes for goal. To Stegen makes a nice save. Rodrigo up this wing again. Can he get a whip in? He can, but it's just a bit too late. Bit of a boring game, but it is into extra time. Kunde passes it through into Ferran Torres. Hopefully he can't do much here. He's cutting inside, it's looking dangerous. He's gone under Courtois' legs and he could have got the winner here in the 104th minute. And Barcelona have done it. 
defeat in Real Madrid, finishing up January. It's a bit of a poor month, losing the Supercopa to Barcelona and going out in the Copa del Rey. And the league could be slipping away as it now is just five points between us. But it cannot be Ronaldo's fault. He has 35 goal contributions in 31 games. End in February, we have done amazing in the league, but we have had a dodgy first leg against Inter Milan. And we are back up seven points with a game in hand. And Ronaldo is now on 39 goal contributions. March sees us thankfully get a nice win against Inter to put us through to the next stage. And the league is going very well as well. Not a single loss this month. And that has done bits as we are now 15 points in the lead. Surely they can't throw it away now. And Ronaldo, 41 games played, 34 goals and 9 assists. April was a very nice month, beating Man City in the Champions League, nice league results and a nice fast leg win against Napoli. And the league is basically ours with 15 games to go, are sure we are well that? ahead. And Ronaldo just keeps adding and adding 50 goal contributions in 47 games. And whoever would win player of the season other than Cristiano Ronaldo? It's well deserved. But finishing up May, we have come away with some nice results again in the league. And we are also through to the final of the Champions League. But there is confirmation of winning the league. And it's a 100-point season for Real Madrid. Ronaldo, of course, taking them to the next level again. And Ronaldo, of course, finishes the season with the golden boot. 31 goals in 38 matches. But Griezmann close behind him with 28. Fair play. And Ronaldo does actually come second in assists as well. But here we are, Champions League final. And who would it be, of course? None other than Barcelona. And this is a game made perfectly for Ronaldo. He should thrive here. Oh, he gets it nicely through down to the wing. Can Ronaldo get inside for a nice little whip here? He can, but it does not get to him. Fala Mendy to Ronaldo. Oh, yeah, again, just too short could make something here it's Ronaldo goes for goal to save from Ter Stegen whipped in from David Alaba oh that would have been nice for Ronaldo could be played through here for Ronaldo nice bit of play oh it's right his way back to Ronaldo go on ah oh, it's another save from Ter Stegen that is an unreal ball from Valverde and Ronaldo tucks it to make it 1-0 to Real Madrid here in the final it's Ronaldo against Koundé can he burn him yet again? He can. He's gone. Cristiano Ronaldo, can he tuck it? Of course. And he makes it a brace here. 2-0 against Barcelona in the Champions League final. Surely it's done. Barcelona have got a corner. What are you going to do here? Let it short. Whips it inside. Ronaldo does get to that. Can he hit them on a counter-attack? Potentially. He gets past Kunde yet again. He's just absolutely burning him this season. Ronaldo is through. He's looking for hat-trick. He's going to pass it. Of course he's not. It's Prime Ronaldo and he finishes it. It's a hat-trick in the Champions League final. It is, of course, Prime Ronaldo. And there we go. A Ronaldo hat-trick seals a 3-0 win here for Real Madrid to win the Champions League. And here he is once again, lifting the Champions League for Real Madrid. And finishing Ronaldo's return to Real Madrid, he has 44 goals with 13 assists in 54 games and coming away with the league and the Champions League. Today we are going to be putting prime Wayne Rooney back at Man United. United, United, United! Of course throughout his career Wayne Rooney was an unreal player. But in the 09-10 season he was next level. Putting up 34 goals and 7 assists in 44 games. And here he is. He is only coming in at 89 rated. However those are the stats from FIFA 11. And kicking off the season, he is back at Old Trafford and he is facing Wolves. Uh, it's good to see him back on the pitch, back at Old Trafford. Hopefully he bags a good couple goals here. Oh, he's won the ball back, it could be through. Go on, use that pace, Wayne. Ah, oh, great save. Ooh, come on. Ah, oh, nice block. Come on, please, get around the side of him. Shoot! Ah, oh, I just can't seem to score at the minute. Rashford is through down this wing. Can he cut it inside to Wayne? He can't. He gets to the Bruno. Bruno inside. Wayne Rooney, surely he does. He tucks it. His first goal of the Premier League. And he is back. Good try and find Bruno here. He can. He's through. Surely he's going to finish this. He does. It's a goal and an assist for Wayne on his debut back. Oh, we could make it through here. Surely he tucks that. Of course he does. 
It's Wayne Rooney. It's 3-0, two goals and an assist. Finishing the first month in the first three games and we're top of the league. The only team with three wins from three. His first month stats are insane. Six goal contributions in three games. This could be an unreal season for him. First game back against City. They are, of course, a lot better than when he left. So let's see what he's got. Rashford down this wing again. Can he try and cut it in? Yet again, he can. He whips it. Ah, oh, Edison makes a great save. Fair play. You haven't liked the video yet. You also haven't subscribed. So please make sure you do that or I will get Hasbro on the case. <laughs> oh, this could be bad if he finds Haaland. He doesn't. Oh, but he no. finds Foden and it's in. It's 1-0 already for City here over United. And Anthony pass it inside. Please. Surely that's a foul. It is. is. Is that a pen? I'm pretty sure that's a pen. Straight away. And Rooney tucks it. Oh my word. What a finish that was. 88th minute there on the break. It's through to Haaland. Of course he finishes it. There's no chance. And that is 2-1 there for City. And it does finish at 2-1. Unlucky for Rooney and United there. And we have got a huge game here against Bayern Munich. We need to win to go through. Let's get that dub. That's not good. It's into Kane straight away. Of course, there's no doubt there. Kane finishes it. It is 1-0 already for Bayern Munich. Come on, inside again. Nice bit of play that. Surely has to finish, of course. Back 1-1. We need to really get the win here. Sane's pace there is just absolutely unreal. He's in the box. <laughs> Harry Maguire, what are you doing? Typical Harry Maguire fashion, taking him out. Harry Kane on the penalty. Of course it's in. And we have lost the game 2-1. I don't think that's enough at all. And it's not. Wayne Rooney has done his best, but it's just not enough to help United. We do, however, jump straight into the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup against West Ham. We need a result here. Just getting knocked out of the Champions League. We need some good news. And it is 3-1 into the semi-finals. We have a huge FA Cup game against Leeds. Surely it's a nice win. It is not. Our own rivals have beat us 2-1. Carabao Cup semi-finals against Tottenham. This could be a very, very close game, but hope to progress through. Please give us a nice result. We get beat 2-1. Come on, we need to flip this on its head. A huge, huge result here. It's going to be a very hard game. Because Tottenham this season are doing absolutely outstanding. Please. And it's 2-1. We actually won on penalties. That is an outstanding turnaround from United there. Fair play into the finals of the Carabao Cup. And looking at the season at the end of January, we are sitting in fifth currently. Like I said earlier, Spurs are doing terrific this season and they are leading the way on 52 points. We've got an awful lot of catching up to do. And good old Wazaruni is having an absolutely terrific season with 18 goals and eight assists so far. I mean, hopefully there's an awful lot more to come. But it is a Carabao Cup final and it couldn't be more perfect. Wayne Rooney is up against his former club and of course the team he supports, Everton. Rashford is just fannying around down here. Please just try and whip it in, he can. Rooney, oh my word, what a finish. What a cross from Rashford, that is textbook Wayne Rooney. And Rooney has done his man, can he use his pace? He absolutely can. Wayne Rooney, he might have to take this himself, but he tucks it into the far corner and it is 2-0 here over Everton. And there we go, Wayne Rooney lifting the Carabao Cup. He must be what United need, a perfect player to help him out. Massive game in the Europa League quarterfinals against Liverpool of all teams. And we've lost 3-1, unreal. We need an unbelievable result here, but it's possible. It's 4-2 and we've actually won 7-6 on penalties. I did not think that was coming at all, but fair play to United and Rooney. Semi-finals of the Europa League against Roma. And we've lost yet again 2-1, but we could do a return like we did against Liverpool. Come on, we need that magical result again. Let's repeat Liverpool. Ah, oh, we just don't. It's 3-2. Coming into the last game of the season, all we are fighting for now is a Champions League place. And we do manage to get it, finishing fourth with 74 points. Tottenham absolutely obliterating the rest of the league. But Wayne Rooney had an absolutely unbelievable season, finishing with 50 goal contributions in 53 games. But sadly, he did lose out to Salah and Shock Haaland for the golden boot. However, he does finish joint top of the assists with 12. And to come away with the Cowboy Cup, he's helped United a little bit. 
With Kylian Mbappe leaving on a free to join Real Madrid, PSG are left without their main talisman. No one to lead their front line. Lucky for them, I know the solution. I am Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and I'm just warming up. And here he is, Slatan Ibrahimovic is back at PSG. We've made him a 91 overall at 28 years old. And I mean, he looks menacing. And kicking us off straight away, we have the Trophy de Champions and we have our first chance to win a trophy. Can Slatan start off strong? Here we go. It's good to see Slatan back in a PSG kit. Nice. Usman Dembele into Slatan Ibrahimovic. He could start off extremely strong. It's Slatan and he's missed. No way. Toulouse could be through here. They have a chance on goal. It's a nice save from Donnarumma. Slatan trying to muscle them off. Turns very nicely. Managing to get a shot off and it's wide yet again. Come on, Slatan. Slatan has another chance. Goes for goal. It's straight at the keeper, unfortunately. Nice ball. Slatan turns very nicely. Gets a bit of space and he smacks it into the back of the goal. 24 minutes in, 1 0, and it is Slatan's first goal back at PSG. Slatan, nice ball through to Barcola. Barcola could be through. He could make it 2 0 here against Toulouse. Barcola goes for goal and it's in. Slatan Ibrahimovic, a goal and an assist. What a finish from Barcola, by the way. Oh, and Toulouse could be through and they have finished it, making it 2 1 in the 52nd minute. Game is on. Oh, we could be through again. Zari Emery is through. He's passed it into Slatan and Slatan, easy finish. 60th minute, hopefully finishing Toulouse off 3 1. Although, knowing Slatan, he will be looking for a hat trick. Slatan managing to get a bit of space. Goes for goal. And oh my word, what a goal that would have been off the crossbar. Goes for goal again. Oh, <laughs> lucky. Usman Dembele, what a chip over. What a touch from Slatan. And what a finish. There's his hat trick. And it is 4 1. Surely that is game over. What a goal. And there we go. The first trophy for Slatan and PSG. Starting off extremely strong, but starting off League 1 and we are up against Lorient. Hopefully we can start the league off extremely strong and batter them. Or oh, they could be through straight away. He's dribbling past Marquinhos and he's getting shot off. Thankfully Donnarumma is there. They could be through yet again. Tell you what, Lorient have started very strong and they have got a spot on the back foot, definitely. Nice defending. Oh, that is a nice burst past the player there. He's going to manage to get his shot off. And that's another great save from Donnarumma. We need to be thankful for him. Oh, my word. He's absolutely sent us to the shop. And Donnarumma again. Slatan on the ball. Slots it through to Barcola. Has he got enough pace to get to it? It's a foot race at the moment. It's Barcola. And he goes for goal. Oh, just can't tuck it. Nice. Usman Dembele on the ball. He's got Slatan to his left as an option and he does find him. It's Slatan Ibrahimovic, 83rd minute and he finishes it. Makes it 1-0 over Lorient. I mean, it's an undeserving victory at the moment as it stands. And thankfully the game does finish at 1-0. Slatan scoring the only goal. We got very lucky there. Halfway through the season and of course, I don't think it's any shock that PSG are leading League 1. 43 points, 35 in second, 8 points between them. PSG have also finished top of what looked to be a very tough group stage. Could we potentially win Slatan and PSG their first Champions League as we do get Man United in the round of 16? Slatan Ibrahimovic though, after 24 games, has 23 goals and 5 assists. I mean, it's no shock that Slatan is absolutely ripping up League 1. If he continues like this, he could be on for a record-breaking season, even for himself. And Slatan is, of course, on the course for the Golden Boot in League 1. We do have a game in the Coupe Nationale, the round of 16, up against Pau FC. I mean, I don't even know who they are. So hopefully, we can absolutely batter them and get a nice victory here. I mean, you would expect it. Hopefully Slatan can score a good couple goals, but we shall see. Slatan Ibrahimovic, he does, I don't know if he scores, but it's 3-1. No, he doesn't. Fair play. Round of 16 of the Champions League, and we are going to Old Trafford to face Slatan's old club, actually, at Man United. Hopefully he can perform here and get a decent little result. And it finishes 1-1. The goal actually coming from Hakimi. The reverse fixture, and we are at home. We need a decent result against Man United. Hopefully Slatan can come through. He does score in the 56th minute and we are through. 3-2 on aggregate. 
quarterfinals of the Coupe Nationale and we are up against Paris FC. We've got a decent little rivalry going on here. I mean, we should yet again completely obliterate them. That's what we're hoping for anyway. And PSG's team looking absolutely stacked as they have signed Chiesa and Chabonoglu and we beat them 2-1. Chiesa actually scoring the goal. The semi-finals of the Coupe Nationale and we are up against Saint Etienne and we do get into the final 3-2. Slatan Ibrahimovic scoring a hat-trick to send them to the final. He really wants these trophies. The quarter-finals now of the Champions League and we are up against Arsenal, the team that offered Slatan a trial one time and he turned them down four off them the trial. Is he going to get his payback here? And it ends 1-1. Goals coming from both Kai Havertz and Barcola. The reverse fixture and we go to the Emirates. This is Slatan's time to shine as he really needs to go through here, of course. And it's 2-1. But of course, that sends us into the semi-final of the Champions League. And we are up against Bayern Munich. We could be through here. vague has got a bit of space. Goes for goal. It's met by a nice save by Neuer. Javal Muziala could be through. Our back line, he passes through to Harry Kane. Forces a good save out of Donnarumma. We needed that. Ripped in. Nice clearance. That is dodgy. Guerrero. Oh my word, I thought he scored a banger. Oh, that is a great ball. Harry Kane, another great save from Donnarumma. Jamal Moziala passes through to Kingsley Coman. Nice bit of pace from Kingsley Coman. Fanning around down this outside. Cutting inside, though. That is horrible. Into Harry Kane. Harry Kane makes it 1 0. Of course, he does. 44th minute, and we are down 1 0. Kingsley Coman could be through, and he slots it. Makes it 2 0 for Bayern Munich over PSG here. That does not put us in a good position. Slatan could be through. Hopefully to get a goal back. And he does get it. He runs to get the ball. Because we need to score some more. They could be through. Yet yeah, again down this wing. Gets it inside to Jamal Muziala. Passes inside. And Harry Kane makes it 3-1 for Bayern Munich. This is not looking good. Leroy Sane in a real position to finish us off here. Thankfully he goes for goal. And it is a save from Donnarumma. Kona Moani into Slatan. Pass it out wide to Keza. Can Keza get a goal back here? Good defending. Cleared well. Nice. We've won that back though. Slatan finds a bit of space. Goes for goal. And oh my word, he finishes it. What a goal that is. Go and get the ball straight away. But what a finish. That is what we need. Koda Moani trying to find a bit of space to get through. He can't find it into Usman Dembele. Flicks it into Slatan. And oh my word, I thought he scored. Musiala going forward again. Oh, I was going to say, he could have had a nice pass there. Jamal, oh, he's got found one. Never mind. And it's in. Harry Kane scores. Makes it 4-2. And that is looking like it is going to be game. We need a huge, huge second leg. And yet, of course, the game does finish 4-2. We need a better performance next time out. Of course, we now go to the Allianz Arena. We need a result. Osman Dembele, nice. Finds a bit of space down this wing. He's going to have to take it away for the moment. Passes in to Slatan. Can we start off extremely strong here at the Allianz? And we can. Slatan Ibrahimovic scoring straight away in the sixth minute. That is exactly what we needed. Muziala on the ball. Please, we cannot afford them to score. Nice defending. Kingsley Coman has managed to breach our battle line. Hopefully, he can't do much with it. Marquinhos is on the case. Passes back. Goes for goal. That's a nice save from Navas. Ibrahimovic passes through to Fabian Ruiz. That is a nice ball. Fabian Ruiz passes inside Sola out to Usman Dembele. Usman Dembele goes for goal and he's tucked it away to make it 2 0 for PSG. And it's 4 4 on aggregate. What a game. Bayern Munich could be through. And he's tucked it. Harry Kane yet again here is causing us some absolute problems. Makes it 2 1. Vitinha with a nice ball over to Kyla Sola. Pass inside to Barcola, in through to Slatan Ibrahimovic, and Slatan Ibrahimovic makes it 5 5 on aggregate. Harry Kane starting off an attack here. Potentially going to find Sane down the middle. He has. Please don't go wide. He can't. Sane. Oh my word, he misses. Harry Kane got some space, goes for goal. Navas, good save. Slatan got a nice little chance in through to Chiesa. Oh, oh my word, Neuer with a great save. One last chance to potentially get a winner here. It's whipped to the back post. Pass into Slatan. Slatan, oh my word, Neuer. What an incredible save. He's pushed it through to extra time. That was unreal. Kola Moani. Slatan is trying to make a run. He has made it. Slatan, though, he is very low on stamina. Has he got enough pace to get there? He manages to. He just can't get a good shot off. 
Harry Kane in an extremely horrible position. Harry Kane, oh my word, he absolutely dinks Keylor Navas. And in the 100th minute, Harry Kane could have just won it for Bayern. Slatan inside. Come on, please, we really need a goal. It's still Slatan. Oh my word, he gets muscled off. Colin Moani, find Slatan. Slatan goes for goal, and oh my word, it's 4 2. What a game this has turned out to be. 6 6 on aggregate. Slatan could have just took this to penalties, and he has. It has ended 6 6 on aggregate, and we are going to penalties. Harry Kane starting the penalties. That's surely a given. Kaylor Navas almost got to it, but it was tucked very nicely. Lee Kang in next. Tucks it again nicely. 1 1 on penalties. So, Nabri, please. Oh, that's another good finish. Sent the keeper. Usman Dembele, surely he's going to tuck this. He does his nice little fancy run up. Usman Dembele tucks it. Leroy Sane. Oh, he's dinked us. Cheeky man. And here we go. Slatan Ibrahimovic. Surely he's going to tuck it. Oh my god, he's hit the crossbar. No way. Gretzka up next. Oh, it's a nice save from Kaylor Navas to save Slatan. Kulamuani, please. Oh, it's a light one, but it's in. Jamal Muziala. All we need is a save from Kaylor Navas. He sent him again. Hakimi up against Neuer. He has to score. Hakimi, and he does. Sends Neuer the wrong way. Up to Lema. Finishes it again. Sent us the wrong way again. Chiesa runs up. And he tucks it. This is a horrible, horrible set of penalties. No one is missing at the minute apart from Slatan. And he scores again, of course. Marco Asensio, please, you need to use that experience to tuck it. And he does. And we are up to 7-7 seven, seven on penalties. Manuel Neuer is stepping up. That's such a bad penalty and Kado Navas just flops. Milan Skriniar, please, this is where it starts getting dodgy when you start getting centre-backs. But I tell you what, that is a finish. Matthias Dillit up against Kado and then, yeah, great penalties. Marquinhos, please, it's 9-8 and he saves it. There's no way... Bayern Munich are through. What a disappointing game to lose. Slatan fought so hard to get to the Champions League final, but it wasn't meant to be. But anyway, on to better things. The Coupe Nationale final up against Lyon. Hopefully we can make it a technical treble here. That would be amazing for Slatan and PSG. Fabian Ruiz trying to find a bit of space. He finds Marco Asensio. Marco Asensio could be through straight away in the seventh minute. He's on his own. He's got to take it on his own, and he has. He makes it 1 0 to PSG, and what a start that is. Nice. Slatan has got a bit of space here. Turns his man inside, goes for goal, and he's missed. No way. Nice. Usman Dembele is free down this wing. 30th minute. Slatan is inside, passes, goes for goal. It's a nice save. I think he was offside anyway. Yeah, he was. Nice pass down this wing to Usman Dembele, into Slatan, touches it, smashes it, and it's in. Bottom pins, what a goal that was from Slatan. Panorama is finding some space, passes through to Bolde, into Lacazette, and Lacazette makes it 2 1 in the 83rd minute, and it is game on in the last moments. Slatan goes for goal, I could have finished him off. Leon could have one last chance, and oh my word, that is a ball. Panorama misses. What a chance that was to score, but Benarama absolutely smacks it wide. What a ball that was. And it looks like all we have to do is clear it, and that is game. Please, and it is. And that makes it three trophies for Slatan and PSG this season. I mean, you cannot complain at all. And there we go. There is confirmation of League 1 as well. I mean, it wasn't even a contest, of course. Of course, we started off by winning the Trophy de Champions, winning the Coupe Nationale. However, of course, unfortunately losing an extremely tight game to Bayern Munich, which is extremely annoying as Bayern Munich did go on to beat Benfica in the final. So he could have had an easy route to the title there. But Slatan Ibrahimovic finishing the season 51 games played, 54 goal contributions. And that is absolutely insane. He has done a lot more than just replace Mbappe. He has bettered him, which is impressive. Slatan, of course, also finishes top goal scorer for the league. Also the Trophy of Champions, the Coupe Nationale and the Champions League. So it is total domination from Slatan. Ronaldinho, one of the most influential footballers of all time and an AC Milan team that could do with that extra push to get them back to the glory days. So what would happen if we put prime Ronaldinho 
back at AC Milan. And here he is. We have made him a 93 attacking midfielder. Because, of course, that is where he played at AC Milan. And he is, of course, one of the world's best in this save. So let's see what he can do. Starting off, we have a game up against Bologna to start Serie A. Ronaldinho. That is nice play with Olivier Giroud. That is a brilliant back heel. Ronaldinho could be through already. Steps his man. Oh, that's a nice save. What a goal that would have been. Ronaldinho whips it in. Right, it's dropped nicely. Go. Nice. Shoot again. <laughs> it's dribbled in somehow. I don't know how. But it's starting off 1-0. Rafael Leal down his wing. Could have got a nice easy pass into Dino. Oh, he turns his man. Beautiful goal from Ronaldinho. It will step to the side. Does the keeper. And he slots it into the far corner. Ronaldinho. Does his man again. Oh, that's a great save. Nice. Dino. Oh, what a pass to Giroud. Olivier Giroud finishes it off. That is textbook Dino right there with that little fancy pass. What a goal. Ronaldinho is through here. He's one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to have that player. No problem. Of course he is. And he tucks it. Make it 4-0 over Blogna here for Milan. Just in for 40th minute. That is insane. Dino is really trying to get a hat-trick here. He gets it. Oh, no. He's got it back. Dino slots it. There's his hat-trick. Make it 5-0. And what a statement this is. Oh, they could get one back. So actually it is through... Yeah, they got one back, but that's fine. We'll take it. And it does end here. The first game of Serie A. Absolutely destroying Bologna in a 5-1 win. Ronaldinho with a hat-trick, of course. We have the Milan derby here up against Inter. Hopefully, we can really, really prove a point. Dino is now up to a 94 rated already. So, let's make a statement. Ronaldinho is through down this wing. He's going to try and whip it back post. Rafael Leal. Oh, almost. It's a bad touch, though. Drew, through to Dino. Oh, they've defended that well. Nope, we've still got it. Yeah, fair play. Dino goes for goal. Oh, he's forced to save out of Summer. Nice. Try and pass this back inside. Try and make something here. That's a nice bit of play. If he passed that, then that would have been perfect. Nice. Dino going to go for goal. That's defended nice. Oh, Dino is really struggling with this inter team. Going to try and form something. He just can't even get through them. Ronaldinho out wide. Pass that down again. Nice bit of play. If we can dig this inside, that would be perfect. It might be too hard to lay out. Passes back. We're just trying to run everywhere right here just to get the ball. Ronaldinho. <sighs> nice defending. And so, oh, that is a great pass through to Dumfries. Yeah, he's an awful touch there. He's too slow on the ball. He gets inside though. It's good defending from us. Dino is trying his best here. He could potentially get through the defenders on his own. He can. Oh, it's just an awful shot. Come on. Go on. Nice. Surely. Oh my word. Sommer is on it today. And the 90th minute is looking like that is probably it. And it is. It is full time. Nil, nil. Nothing to split us. For the first couple of months of the season, AC Milan are currently sitting in fourth place on 16 points. Only three behind leaders, Napoli. So not a bad start in the Serie A. And Ronaldinho, after 10 games, has nine goal contributions. Of course, almost won a game. Five goals, four assists, not a bad start for Dino at all. We do have a crucial game here up against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. We are, of course, currently sat in third, so we really, really need a result here. Hopefully we pump them. That is what we need. Please, Dino, perform. 2-0, we'll take that. Rafael Leao scoring and Chuck Weezy. Another huge game up against Newcastle. I mean, we need to beat them to be completely safe because Dortmund only need to beat... PSG and we are out of the Champions League but hopefully hopefully we can smash Newcastle please we don't we lose 3-2 we just got hope PSG have beat Borussia Dortmund or else we are out and they have they've drew actually so that's not bad at all I think we're through let's hope we're through <laughs> I mean we could be out here Let's just check it. Yeah, we're still in. In the round of 16, and we are up against Man City. End of December, and AC Milan are sat in 7th place in the league. Not very good at all. But we are, of course, still in the Champions League in the round of 16. And Ronaldinho, after 24 games, has 15 goal contributions. And is absolutely lighting up the league at the minute. 10 goals, 5 assists. He can't complain at all. But we do have the round of 16 of the Coppa Italia up against Venezia. I mean, it should really be an easy win. Especially with Dino now being 95 rated. 
and we lose on penalties. Great, even missing a penalty ourselves. But we have the hardest game of the season so far. It's at the San Siro up against Man City. I mean, we need if we're going to get a result, it's going to be at home. And we need a good one. And we do somehow beat them 2-1. Ronaldinho scoring the winner here. But of course, we have the reverse fixture. It is at the Etihad. This is going to be a really hard game. Just a draw will do. Yeah, and it's 3-3. It's 5-4 on aggregate. We will take that, absolutely. He got pushed to extra time with Rafael Liao scoring a winner in the 119th minute. But we are into the quarterfinals of the Champions League and Ronaldinho is going back to Barcelona as he plays for AC Milan this time. That is gonna be a very interesting game for him. Hopefully he wants to prove a point to Barcelona and get a nice result. We shall see, it's gonna be a tough game at the Camp Nou, but we've got hope for something. It's 2-2, we'll take that, not too bad. But of course, Barcelona now come to the San Siro and I am feeling pretty confident that we have a result in the locker here. We need to beat them. I don't want a draw. It is a draw, but we take the win on penalties. What a close game that was. Semi-finals of the Champions League and it's up against the big boys, Real Madrid. Going to be a very tough game here at the Bernabeu, but hopefully we have got it in the locker. Nice. Try and get that over if you can. Ronaldinho could be through straight away. He's only got really good to beat. And he has beat him nicely. He is through. He shoots and it's in. Pass Courtois. Make it 1-0 in just the 10th minute here up against Real Madrid. Nice. Ronaldinho could be through yet again. There's no way we score. Surely. Oh, what an awful shot. Oh, no. Tony Cruz could be through. Pass inside. Oh, it's nice defending. That is a phenomenal ball. Tony Cruz. Of course, he finishes that. Makes it 1-1. One, one. Close game this is going to be at half-time. Nothing can separate us. 1-1. One, one. Too many into Vinicius Jr. That is a beautiful turn from Vinicius Jr. Oh, man, I can't even say anything there. That is a phenomenal goal from him. Makes it 2-1. Could he be destroying our dreams here? Oh, Rudiger could have messed up here. Ronaldinho is given a chance and he finishes it. 2-2, two, two. that is what we want. Going to get the ball because we want another goal. Oh, that pressure is horrible. He has got pushed. Goes for goal. It's a nice save for my nan. That is what we want. Oh, this is horrible, AC Milan. Oh, that is a great chance for Verdi. He's messed it up. That's a nice save, though. That is what we needed. Ronaldinho looking for a winner in the 90th minute. He's going to try and whip it in to Leao. That is a perfect ball, surely. Oh, why has he messed it up to Leao again? Please. Oh, awful. Nice defending, though. It's looking like that is going to be it. Ending at 2-2. Ronaldinho, of course, with both the goals. The reverse fixture and Real Madrid are coming to the San Siro. We need to show them who is making it to the final. Ferlan Mendy getting into our box, looking quite dangerous. Tamori is defending him well, though. Nice defending, thank you. Nice. Dino, what can you do with it on the edge of the box? Charles to Antonio Cruz. He can't at all. Nice. Dino could be through. 20th minute. Surely he is going to find something here to finish him off. He does. It's a nice shot across the floor. And it is too hard for Courtois. Makes it a 3-2 on aggregate. Ah, oh, Vinny Jr. is, of course, the one problem here. I don't know why he's ran it so wide. It's good defending in the end to keep that in. Oh, Verdi. That is a brilliant ball to Bellingham. And, of course, he finishes it. Makes it 3-3. That was an insane ball from Valverde. Full time and it is 1-1 one, one, and we are getting pushed into extra time up against Real Madrid. Rafael Leal into Ronaldinho. Dinks it over. That's a great ball. Please go in. It's in. What an assist that was from Ronaldinho. An even better header. Just beating Courtois. Ronaldinho could finish them off here. Yeah, easy. Courtois has no chance there. And Ronaldinho makes it 3-1 over Real Madrid. I mean, he's sprinting for his life. He's off. And there we go. We have beat them. And we are into the final of the Champions League. And arguably, it is all down to the main man, Ronaldinho. The end of the season. And AC Milan have not done very well in Syria at all. Finishing in sixth place. Juventus winning the league on 85 points but not very good from AC Milan at all. Of course, we got knocked out to Venezia in the Coppa Italia in just around a 16 2 But Ronaldinho, 51 appearances, 37 goals and nine assists. You really can't knock him at all. He has played out of his mind, especially in some crucial games. 
especially in the Champions League. But here we go, Champions League final, and it's up against Bayern Munich. I mean, it's going to be a very hard game, but I like our chances here, especially after beating Madrid. Nice, Ronaldinho could be through straight away. Goes for goal, almost. Oh no, that's a nice ball in the end, Harry Kane, nice save from Manan. Bayern Munich are causing some horrible problems for us, especially down his wing with Jamal Muziala. He's just dancing on the edge of the box, but it's good defending in the end. Sane socks it through to Jamal Muziala. That's a great ball and that's a great finish. Makes it 1 0 to Bayern Munich here. That is a great goal, I can't knock it. Ronaldinho trying to answer straight back. He could potentially do it. Ronaldinho, nice. Makes it 1 1, 23rd minute, it is game on. Nice ball, Sane out to Masrawi. Is he going to try and whip this inside? Yeah, it's into Kane. This is just horrible, constant pressure from then. Lehmann goes for goal, nice save. Oh, that's a nice ball. Lehmann, yeah, he tucks it. What a ball that was from Masrawi, and Lehmann had an easy, easy header there. Fair play. Nice. Nice, the out, ah, oh, almost. Go on, put that. Ordinho gets to it. <sighs> Force a save out of Neuer. No way, Gretzka. If he passes this down to the wing, yeah, he's got it there. It's into Nabri, and Nabri finishes it. It's 3-1. 82nd minute, it's looking like that is potentially going to be it, and game over. And yeah, there we go, full time, and we have lost to Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. It could have been the perfect dream for Ronaldinho here, but it was not meant to be. I mean, of all people to blame in this AC Milan team, you definitely cannot point fingers at Ronaldinho. 38 goals, 9 assists in just 52 games for Ronaldinho. I mean, he has done everything he could to get this team that Champions League win, but it didn't happen.